I have planned everything out. I would get up really early and go for a morning of landscape photography on the ski slopes of Whistler Blackcomb. If everything went to plan, I would get to the top just as the sun was starting to rise. Except today, the stars misaligned. I put on a different jacket, not the one I usually wear skiing. I put on the jacket that didn't have a ski pass inside. I realized all that just as I faced the entrance to the ski lift, 10 minutes before it opened. So after a morning of anger and at the same time uh, amazement at the surrounding sunrise, I asked myself the question of how could I turn this into an upside? Overcast skies meant I had a whole day to spend uh, skiing around and finding new subjects to photograph. I turned this into a day of panoramas. Okay, so um, I came up to 7th Heaven uh, just to kind of shoot a little bit of B-roll but I think there's a potential for a photo here today and so uh, they, I don't know if you can see it but there's a glacier over there and some nice sky so I'm just going to photograph it with, uh, with the long lens and, uh, and the crop sensor camera and see what happens. Um, yeah, I'll probably set it to about f8 and, and compensate with the exposure ISO 100 and um, play around with the, to see whether the polarizer does anything or not. And yeah, spent probably about five minutes leveling my tripod in order to capture a panorama because I kind of wanted to get a little bit of more of the blue sky and capture everything there is to be captured up here. Um, I might crop into it later on but I just wanted to kind of get everything uh, because my lens is quite long it starts at 55 but it's a crop sensor camera I couldn't just get something further out um, that captures everything I want to capture so I, I got a wider shot of a nice panorama and hopefully uh, it looks pretty good I'm gonna move on and go somewhere else and have a look what else is there to be shot come to the glacier area and I'm just climbing up there to have a look what's over the ridge maybe find a simple composition to shoot an image if not it's a nice way to ski down as well so here we go
I need to put the camera away. It's just too hard. And I'm very much near the top. Very hot. I have to take the neck warmer out. Don't have a glove either. great thing about a day like today is that even though the light's not the greatest the sun is very much diffused by the fact that uh, it's very overcast so it's actually kind of fortunate because if I want to shoot some kind of detail and if I find a really nice composition which is very much a possibility as I'm sitting here and staring at the mountains um, I can actually take a half decent image perhaps turn it into a black and white maybe not but um, but it's not bad. If it was hard light, it'd be very hard to shoot because there'd be so many shadows and highlights and it would be impossible to kind of control. But now it's actually half decent. So I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit and um, and try and, I don't know, I'll just sit here and, and wait. Maybe something will pop up at me and some kind of a detail, some kind of a texture will pop out at me and I might be able to take a half a decent image. Okay, the way I level a tripod to shoot a panorama image is quite simple. Initially I kind of line this up by eye, I level it out um, so that it's perfectly straight coming out of the tripod. You kind of play with the legs. Once this is kind of even and you look at it from kind of two sides, you can't look at it from the side and from the back to make sure it's kind of in line and these two lines here li how to set your tripod for a panorama. You want the gap between the mounting plate and the top of the ball head enclosure to be even throughout. Just check both on the X axis from the back of the camera as well as the Z axis from the side on view. Direct your attention to the camera level now. Which way needs adjusting? Begin raising each leg one at a time until level, the level guide is even throughout. Try rotating the entire head without immobilizing the ball part. If the level stays the same throughout the rotation, you are good to go. Time to go home, have some lunch and then come back later for the sunset. All right, time to ski down. So I went home for lunch and um, 
now I'm back at the same spot that I was um, just a little earlier today but I'm not expecting anything exciting because it's completely overcast and it's grey and dull and boring so uh, I might wait and see, sit, sit around for a little bit see what happens but I have a lot of doubt that um, whether I'll get anything or not so I started noticing uh, black task so I started noticing the black task back there to uh, sort of begin to glow uh, from the sun behind it and, uh, and, uh, and the break in the clouds and I decided to um, get the long lens out on the crop sensor camera and photograph it at like maximum zoom uh, 250 mil on the crop sensor so it's quite quite a close up um, hopefully it's a pretty decent image this camera is sometimes a hit or, hit or miss uh, but we'll see I started having doubts whether I should stay here or not. Um, I'm thinking I might just go down and kind of take advantage of the shadows everywhere and maybe try and find an image with a silhouette and a bunch of snow kind of lowered down uh, so that it's kind of safe to get down and I have it, it's very very unlikely that there's any there's any light coming and I know there's there's snow forecast for the evening so and I can kind of see uh, a little bit of weather coming in from the from the ocean so I think it's time to kind of start getting down and and just ju just start getting down because it's pointless to stay up here if it's if it's all overcast so yeah you know it seems to be a panorama kind of day um, as I was gearing up oh helicopter coming through check this out Anyway, let's get back on topic. Uh, it seems to be a panorama kind of day today because um, as I was packing up, I just saw, I don't know, like something there. I, like, I just, I really like the blue behind those mountains over there. And I decided to shoot a quick panorama. Um, did the same trick with the tripod again, uh, except going this way instead of the other way, uh, just behind the camera. I think I, I, I'm really going to enjoy this image, but in the end, it's going. To, the computer is going to reveal um, the result, and we'll ultimately we'll, we'll see then uh, whether it's good or not. I think it's getting to that time where. I should start actually heading back because I don't see anything showing anything of good substance showing through anytime soon and I'm stuck on top of a mountain and it's getting kind of unsafe to stay here if it's not actually worth staying here so I think I might call it a day and start heading home before the bad weather comes in so I hope you enjoyed that and um, until next time, I hope you like, share and subscribe this. And if you have anything to say, please leave a comment below.